Well, what's up everyone, my name is Tom and welcome to TechStream. Today, thanks to the guys over at Patriot, we're going to be taking a look at their new VPN 100 SSD. But, first of all, as always, roll on that intro. So, as I said just before the intro, what we're taking a look at today is the Viper VPN 100 PCIe SSD. It's an M.2 SSD, I'm glad you got it here. And, uh, well, I've had it in a system, I've done some testing, and let's see what I actually think of it. So we'll start with the packaging. Now this is an M.2 drive, okay? Comes in a rather dinky little box, but quite nice. Got a little magnetic sort of flap on it, which you can open up to reveal just a little bit of info about the drive. They do use the same drive, uh, packaging for all the capacities, so whether you get the 256, the 512 that I've got here, the one terabyte or the two terabyte drive. So they all come with the same, you just get a different sticker on the box. Packaging, to be honest with you, it's packaging. Yeah, I must admit, it's nice, it's better to have something that at least looks a little bit premium when you're spending 100 pounds on a drive. But yeah, it's packaging, it looks good. It's got all the information it needs on it. We will get a little bit to the information because it's uh, got that lovely word of up to on it. But we'll get onto that a little bit later. So the actual drive itself, it is M.2 format. Okay, It is a Gen 3 four times M.2 slot. And that's uh, your standard 2280 format. So the 80 mil long slot on your motherboard. It's got a blue PCB and it's got a rather nice, subtle, in satin black cooler. Just a Viper logo, no lights or anything on it, a couple of grooves, but it's very, very thick. I'm hoping you can see through that. Um, nice thick heatsink on it, but it will, I've had it on a couple of different boards where the M.2 drive is underneath the graphics card. No problems, the only time you may have a problem uh, would be, for example, my little geek case there, where the M.2 on my ITX case is actually below the motherboard at the back, and this is actually a bit taller than standoffs, so if you're looking for ITX systems, okay, maybe not the most appropriate. So as I mentioned, I have the 512 here. There is also a 256, a terabyte, and a two terabyte. Now I will say, the numbers that I'm going to be bringing up for you in a second are actually all applicable to the drive themselves. Um, the different capacities have different read and write speeds. So although they quote really nice blisteringly fast 3450 and 3000 read and writes, yeah, you're not going to get that depending on the drive that you choose. So I did some crystal mark tests Okay, and we actually came out with, for this particular drive, a 3,200 megabyte a second read speed and a 2,200 megabyte write speed, which you're thinking, well, that's no way near the numbers on the box. If you go onto the actual website and on the Patriot website and read the information particularly for this drive rather than the generic one for the series, you will say, see, it actually says 3,000 300 megabyte, megabytes a second read and a 2200 megabytes write. So yeah, we pretty much got exactly what they said. Now, it is a very good drive. Okay, the marketing was a little bit misleading if you didn't read the fine print for the particular drive you were looking at. But overall, it's a nice drive. It's got a good heatsink and heatsinks do matter on NVMe drives. You, I hear everybody going, oh, you don't need heatsinks, it's a waste of time. You do actually, funnily enough, because otherwise they'd never have been invented. I know, yeah, we, we water cooled crazy things in the past, but the reason for the heatsink is NVMe drives do thermal throttle. Uh, if you're doing a lot of uh, random read and writes to it, over time, the drive heats up. Drives are normally put in a really bad thermal location, under graphics cards, backs of motherboards, things like that. And what happens to them is as they warm up, the, if once they start to get to sort of like 70, 80 degrees, they'll actually slow themselves down just to make sure that they don't overheat. Now I had mine running in my test bench where, okay, pretty optimal open air, but no airflow to be fair. Um, but it is in an open air position and I had 
no problems at all. I stuck it in my personal rig where it is in line with a load of airflow and again no problems at all. Now they have an operating temperature rating on this of 0 degrees right the way up to 70 at which point thermal throttling will occur. It, has, it does have a built in thermal sensor and it does also come with or well I say it comes with you'll never see it but there's also half a gig or 512 megabytes of DRAM cache in this. This is one of the things where if you look at the really cheap drives that you'll that you can find that's one of the things they skimp on. Things like the cache they do use cheaper controllers uh, it's a I think it's called uh, pronounced a Fizen E12. This is basically the controller used in all of the top boards. So you'll go and look at cheap drives and you'll find that the reason they're cheap is lack of cash and lack of decent quality controllers. That's where this one comes in good. Now, as I did mention, the VPN 100 in 512 gigabytes from Patriot comes in at just under £100 here in the UK. Uh, I managed to find it at uh, 99.59 on newegg.com, but that is a UK price. And so I, I did some digging and looked at, because obviously pricing of things like this change so much. And actually, this comes in at pretty much the cheapest, well-known branded, proper NVMe 512 gig drive. Uh, the next closest was like the Western Digital Black, which again, this capacity also had pretty much exactly the same speeds, but a little bit more expensive. You want to go up to like the Samsung Evo uh, 970 Evos, 970 Pros, you pay even more again. So for a full speed, because you can get uh, two times NVMe drives, I've tested one, I have one sitting in my ITX build, uh, they can be available for considerably less money. You also get MSATA, which is where a lot of people fall up, because they will see a 512 gig MSATA drive at, say, 60 quid and you go it's an m.2 drive so it's going to be really fast always read the fine print guys um so overall am i happy with this little drive would i recommend it yeah i mean you've got a solid three-year warranty it's got a great price point it's got really good speeds for this drive but do read the marketing material don't just read what's on the box where it says 3,450 uh, read and 3,000 write because that is not what you get on this particular drive. That is actually the speed you get on the terabyte drive. Get the smaller one or the two terabyte and uh, you may get, in fact, we will double check for you now. Let's take a look. The two terabyte drive, for example, is rated at the 3,100 megabyte write and 3,000 megabyte read, while the 256 is actually rated at a 3,000 megabyte write and only a 1,000 megabyte, uh, sorry, I've got that wrong, a 3,000 megabyte read and only a 1,000 megabyte a second write, which I'm saying is slow, it's not. But do check the numbers for the drive that you are looking to buy. I haven't actually researched the speeds of the competitors' drives for those capacities, but what I can say is that 512 gig for under 100 pounds here in the UK, it is a very, very solid drive. It's got a nice heat sink on it, so unless you're needing to mount it in an ITX system under the motherboard, I'd say this is pretty much the one to go for at the moment. Okay, yeah, it's got a blue PCB, which when I first saw it, I thought, that's going to irritate me, but it is all heat sink. You don't see any of it. So, yeah. So there you go. That is the Patriot Viper VPN 100 PCIe M.2 SSD. This is the 512, meg ver uh, 512 gig version, and it gets a solid thumbs up from Dextreme. On that note, guys, that is it for today. If you have any questions, do leave comments down below. I always answer them as quick as I can. And if you want to see more of me, click that subscribe and the notification bell. And I will be back this time again next Saturday. Bye for now.